Ever wondered how to make the perfect sourdough buns at home? The secret is in the blend of simple ingredients, flour, water, and a pinch of salt, and the magic of time. With patience, these humble elements transform into a tangy, chewy delight that's hard to resist. The process might take a bit of time, from nurturing your sourdough starter to allowing the dough to rise, but the end result is truly worth it. Unleash the baker within you as you embark on this sourdough journey. The first step to perfect sourdough buns is understanding your ingredients. Let's begin with flour, the backbone of our buns. Using quality flour, ideally unbleached and organic, ensures a robust structure and a pleasing crumb. Flour also feeds our next key player, the sourdough starter. A sourdough starter, a mix of flour and water that is fermented, introduces natural yeast and friendly bacteria into the mix. It's the magical component that gives our buns their unique tang and fluffy texture. Next up is water. It not only hydrates the flour but also helps in gluten formation, providing our buns with elasticity and strength. The amount of water used can significantly impact the final texture of the buns. And finally, there's salt. While it might seem like just a flavor enhancer, salt also strengthens the dough and controls yeast fermentation. With the right ingredients in hand, you're one step closer to your homemade sourdough buns. The heart of any sourdough recipe is the starter. Now, the sourdough starter is a living thing. It's a mixture of flour and water that captures wild yeast from the air around us. To create your own, you'll mix equal parts flour and lukewarm water, leave it in a warm spot, and wait. That's right, patience is key here. After a few days, you should see bubbles forming, a sign that your starter is alive and kicking. Feeding your starter is crucial. Every day, you'll need to discard half of the starter and stir in fresh flour and water. This provides food for the yeast and keeps it active and ready to leaven your bread. Maintaining your starter means keeping it warm and cozy. Yeast loves warmth. So find a snug spot in your kitchen where it can thrive. Remember, the process requires patience and consistency, but all the effort is worth it. A healthy, bubbly starter is the secret to those tangy, artisan sourdough buns. Now let's bring our ingredients together and get our hands dirty. With our sourdough starter ready, it's time to mix it with the rest of our ingredients. Pour in the flour, sprinkle in the salt, and add your starter. Combine everything with a wooden spoon first, then use your hands to bring it all together. The dough should feel sticky but manageable, like a post-it note on a summer day. Now it's time for the kneading. This is where you put your muscles to work. Push, pull, and fold the dough on a well-floured surface. Kneading develops the gluten in the flour which gives our buns their chewy texture. You'll want to knead for about 10 to 15 minutes until your dough is smooth and elastic. Once the kneading is done it's time for the dough to rest and rise. This is the moment when the magic happens. The yeast in the sourdough starter will start to eat the sugars in the dough, producing carbon dioxide gas. This gas gets trapped in the dough, causing it to rise and double in size. It's an enchanting process that takes about 3 to 4 hours, depending on the room temperature. Now remember, this is not a race. The slow rise is what develops that distinctive sourdough flavor. So, let your dough rest. Let it rise. Be patient. Remember good things take time. Allow the dough to rise and develop its unique sourdough character. It's time to heat things up and transform our dough into golden, crispy sourdough buns. The process is simple yet meaningful. Preheat your oven to a piping hot 450 degrees Fahrenheit. This high temperature is the secret to achieving that beautiful, crispy crust we all love. Once your oven is heated, place your buns in. Now, patience is key. Let them bake for about 20 to 25 minutes. During this time, the heat works its magic, turning the soft dough into a crunchy delight. Remember, every oven is unique, so keep an eye on your buns. When they've turned a lovely golden brown, it's time to take them out. Let them cool slightly before digging in, allowing the flavors to settle. There you have it, your very own homemade sourdough buns. Crispy on the outside, soft and tangy on the inside. Enjoy!